What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather, here to give you a weather update here the next few days and a preview of next week. Um, so we're looking like we're going to have some record-breaking highs in the next few days. Um, Friday, Saturday, possibly Sunday. Friday and Saturday looking like the hottest days for sure. Um, um, record highs for tomorrow I think are in the upper 80s, so we'll see what we can get. But there's going to be a chance to hit 90 degrees for sure tomorrow and Saturday. So let's just go right into it. Um, this is the RGEM model. The reason I'm choosing this model run is because um, even though it doesn't really get used much at all, I think it's doing one of the better jobs of uh, uh, depicting how hot the temperatures are going to get tomorrow. And I, I, I don't even think it's doing this is This is the hottest part of the day um, depicted on the model right here. And it's showing mid 80s, um, close, uh, definitely in the 90s down there in the southern part of the state. But I think the places here in the Midlands are definitely going to have the chance to hit um, 9 degrees here tomorrow. We're going to warm up fast after a kind of a nippy start in the 50s, but it's going to be a beautiful day. It's just it's just going to jumpstart everybody's mood. <laughs> and uh, it really, it really, it's really unfortunate that what we have going on with the coronavirus and COVID-19 and stuff like that, because, man, it is going to be an excellent weekend. So... I think that's not doing the best job of depicting how hot it's going to be. I think definitely upper 80s tomorrow. So let, let's go on and just jump to the GFS model here. <clears throat> Again, this is for Saturday. Hottest part of the day showing here on the model, only showing low to mid 80s. But again, I do not think it's sh the models are doing the best job of really showing how warm it's going to be. I think Saturday, maybe a tick warmer than Friday, maybe, but I think overall both of them are going to be about the same. <clears throat> so definitely looking at close to 90 degrees Saturday. I mean, that might be a day where you can, we're all we're all locked in, guys. We're all quarantined in, stay-at-home order uh, for some folks in South Carolina. So pull out the water hose, you got a well, and I know I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to get a, a lot of yard work done. And uh, me and the kids are going to have some fun with some water this weekend. It's going to be a good weekend. It's going to be hot enough to do it for sure, guys. So, <clears throat> hot weekend. Here's a um, GFS show of um, of Sunday. Same thing. Very warm day. Not quite as warm. As you can see, the cutoff and the temperatures get lower right out to the west because we got a cold front coming. That's going to kind of change our weather pattern. I still think Monday will still be kind of warm in the 70s. But... Um, as you can tell, we get into Tuesday, and the temperatures start getting lower and lower. 60s for Tuesday, and um, yeah. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to jump to the temp anomalies, and basically, what those are are temperatures compared to the average temperature for this time of the year. So don't look at the pinks and the blues here and think, "Dang, bro, that that's that's some heat right there." <laughs> You know, and don't think you see the blues mean we're going to be, you know, 20 degrees or something. So here it is. For, this is for tomorrow. Look how the pinks, the reds and stuff, that's depicting how much warmer than average at this time of the year we are. This time of the year, the high should be in probably the low 70s, upper 60s. And that's just depicting how much warmer than average we're going to be. Flip over to Saturday, same situation. Getting to Sunday. Same situation, but you can start to tell that we're, we're flipping into another pattern here. And we get into, let's just jump to Tuesday, and all of a sudden, bam, look at the blues. You see how the sharp cut off in the reds, the blues? That kind of signals maybe a cold air damming event. Cold air damming, I, I, one of these days I'm going to make a video on cold air damming, so maybe y'all understand it a little bit more. When you got the change of the seasons like this in March and April, a lot of times you get just the fighting of the air masses, and you get... You get the cooler air getting trapped to the east side of the um, to the Appalachian Mountains. So, uh, without getting too deep into that, um, could have the wedge setting up multiple times next weekend, next week. Um, you get into Wednesday. Look how much colder than the average we are in the southeast. I mean, you're almost getting into some of them purples and pinks, and uh, that's just showing you that we are going to be much cooler next week. Um, especially as we get later in the week. This time next week is definitely going to be a little nippy. I'm thinking highs probably here 
in the 60s as opposed to the 70s and 80s. So uh, we flip over to Thursday and we're still colder than average. Friday, we are starting to moderate a little bit, but we're still nippy, guys. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, there's two days I'm watching out in the short term, short term mean between now and the end of next week that has potential for frost. Um, and that's one, it's Thursday morning. And uh, I'll show you kind of a GFS image of the temperatures here. Look, it's definitely might look look, looking kind of frosty in North Carolina, but in South Carolina, we're borderline. We're in the low 40s, maybe upper 30s. Um, Friday is another day, uh, low 40s. So we got to watch to the end of next week for our frost. And I know a lot of people are going to plant this weekend. So I wouldn't tell you not to plant because I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to plant something this weekend. But just be careful. I don't see any freezes coming up, guys. But I do think that we need to watch out uh, for, for how, how chilly does it get next week. That is the question. And right now, I don't think we're going to get any freezing temperatures, I'll tell you that. But it's definitely something we need to watch out. So, you know, that's all I got, guys. Um, please subscribe. Please keep uh, helping me grow. And I uh, appreciate all you guys. And, um... Even though we can't do nothing about this coronavirus, still try to enjoy your lives. You know, we can still enjoy our lives by going outside, having fun with our kids, and just enjoying around the house and getting things done. Don't let this be an excuse to just sit around and do nothing, guys. Be proactive and, um, you know, go at it, guys. Y'all have a blessed day and an awesome evening.